So in the next video, we will, we will show you about how should we define the directional vector because if our domain do not align with the principal axis, you need to create the plane tools and then uh, let them to calculate statistically to define the directional vector. So in the first, I will define the torus zone and then you see if the update for plane tools and then directional vector uh, 1, directional vector 2 vector. So now in the x, x is equal to 1 is meaning of this is that the domain of, uh, of the so our porous media is aligned with the x principal axis and also in the y direction in the direction number two is also aligned with the y direction however in this case our domain do not align with the x directional x principal axis and do not align with the y directional axis so we need to transform the coordinate uh, from our domain to be the to be aligned with the directional uh, principal axis. So after you see this panel in the front, you go to the, the setup domain and then go to surface, create, and plane. In the first, you will select the point. For example, in this case, this one is the inlet. If this inlet, you must select the plane tool in this surface. Then select point and then do the uh, right mouse click number one, number two, and number three. And then turn on turn on plane tools. The front will create automatically the plane tools. And then go back to the uh, fluid zone to set the power zone and then click update from plane tools already done okay and the next if this not the inlet it's not the inlet but the inlet is the this uh, this surface so we need to reset the point first after we set the point we will see the directional vector the x is equal to x direction uh, in the blue one is represent to the y direction respect with the principal axis but it uh, is not correct so we will turn off the plane tools and then we will select the point and right mouse click three point one two and three and turn on plane tools already done already done okay and then we select the plane tools update from plane tools then the number of this will change okay this is the directional vector one this is the directional vector two and then after that you will define the viscous resistance and also initial resistance and then you will close 